Hey guys, Janet here, aka Game Onesis, and today we are ranking the suits in Marvel Spider-Man in order of hotness. So this is not going to be related to, you know, the powers that the suits give you, or how you get the suit, or like in the comic book, da 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 da, -da or like, no, there's no lore, there's no abilities, there's none of that stuff. If you're looking for that, just go somewhere else. This is just going to be completely superficial how hot is spider-man wearing these suits and in which suit is he the hottest that is it that is what we're doing here today let's jump into it so we're gonna go from least hot to most hot and i'm gonna kind of just explain my rationale for each of these so starting with the least attractive suit in the game it's hands down the esu suit so this is literally just like as you guys can see it's spider-man just wearing his like college t-shirt pair of jeans and a mask this is very much like you know it's just bad it just looks like you know your busted college look you look like you didn't even graduate you look like you either dropped out or you're like bumming it on your cousin's sofa for the weekend and you're, you're rocking the ESU shirt maybe you had to go to a Halloween party this is your budget costume you're trying to be goofy or something but this you look like every other you know mediocre white man wearing this and it does not look good it's not attractive look he doesn't even look that fit in this outfit i know it's just a t-shirt but it is not flattering in any way shape or form so that's, that's definitely the least by far like by a lot next up we have the wrestler suit this also just you know you look kind of like a creep you know it's like it and then even the the kind of gesture that's there it's just you look like someone that i would avoid walking down the street this is not something i want to be a part of you also don't even look like much of a wrestler this is like a budget wrestler get up and it's terrible now spirit spider this obviously a lot of construction went into this look but it's just scary i feel like for some people if you're into that maybe this is very attractive to you yeah there is like it's very muscular looking but it's horrifying and I'm not interested in it, but I could see why, you know, if you got certain certain lifestyle, maybe that's your that's your thing. But no, the skull, the, it's just terrifying to look at. No, thank you. Hard pass. Homemade suit. This is also like, okay, it's Spider-Man, but like busted as fuck. Like, you know, clearly just when it's like when you want to do the cosplay, but you don't want to buy or make any new things. And you're kind of like, yeah, you know, I'm Spider-Man. And it's like, you're not re really Spider-Man. This, like, this is like a bad version of like those Disney-inspired-by outfits. That's what this looks like. And it's it's not a good look. Last Stand. Uh, also really don't like this. The mask is really high quality and, and looks really good. Obviously, this is a nice, like, form-fitting jacket. But, like, the material is just really cheesy looking to me. It's got, like, that, like, kind of vinyl leather and yeah it just doesn't it doesn't look good i also don't like when jackets have to be closed to look somewhat appealing like the logo is right in the middle so it's just kind of bad the pants are also really horrible and the shoes look super dusty so this is on that lower end for me the fear itself suit now we're getting more into like kind of a a closer classic spider-man look but it's the arm thing that really bothers me and also just like there's like way too much emphasis on the webbing it's got this like weird neon glow it's like half rave half i don't know what these are it just feels like cheesy superhero to me and i i don't dig how that looks at all so that's why it has to be so low i'm also like not that interested in it has like that weird like webbing on the pants it's kind of like this snake skin mermaid ish texture and there's just like too many textures going on it has that weird glow it's not working we need to try something different 2099 this look um there's a couple things that are attractive about it you know it's very form-fitting um you know peter parker looks very muscular in this but there's nothing there's no like humanity in the mask like that's one thing i really thought about with these like the way the eyes look it's very like detached and hollow and the spikes coming out are just 
do too much like it's just doing it's just doing too many things with the spikes they're very dramatic next up the electric insulated suit now uh this just looks to me like a broke ass captain america like that's what i think of when i look at this in the coloring i really don't like the fit of this it's kind of baggy in the like legs in an awkward way um and yeah that's basically it just isn't it's not form-fitting and it doesn't look very interesting so um you know it's only ranked higher than the other ones because process of elimination. Then we get into the Mark III suit, aka budget Iron Man, is what this looks like to me. So it's kind of doing a little bit more technologically speaking than the other suits, but it just feels like shoddily put together. Scarlet Spider. Now this one I actually like quite a bit. Um, it's very casual, but also you know, kind of pulling in some of those classic elements, and I think that's a really good look. I love the detailing on the suit. It's not just like a complete, like, obviously it's a, like a one-piece get-up, but there's like some extra lines kind of cut through to emphasize like his muscles and his body. I think that looks really good. And then there's also like the very casual sort of like hoodie-ish material. This is very like, oh, I'm like, it's like the superhero equivalent of like, I'm gonna go study in the library and you know I'm kind of not putting a lot of effort in yet it still looks really good like sort of like a like a bodycon look to it so I think this one actually looks uh, pretty nice uh, for a casual like spider-man look next up this dark suit not much to say about this it you know it's it is more attractive than the other ones because it has you know a nicer cut to it it's very classic it's it's bright but it's not really doing anything too interesting but it's better than the other ones that were more interesting but kind of more failing in terms of level of attractiveness. Next up we have the negative suit. Now the negative suit, I feel like the cut is tighter, the colors make, you know, his body pop a bit more. At the same time, I am kind of put off by the color scheme of it. Obviously it is what it is because the negative suit, but it's just like a lot to take in. Um, I actually didn't play with the suit, so it maybe looks a little bit better in the game when you're actually moving, but it's very like in your face. But the cut is is very good looking. The stealth suit um, with this one, definitely really nice material, you know, great detailing. There's kind of like the little scale type elements on the shoulders and on the knees and it looks really good i love the color scheme the black with the pop of green it's bold it's like you know check me out and i i look damn good but uh the big con of this one is the eyes are so buggy like once again the eyes are kind of where all the emotion and humanity comes through from spider-man and when the eyes are just kind of either too robotic or just kind of too on one end of an emotional spectrum is just kind of like a little off-putting so i'm not feeling like the bug look that like i'm constantly like surprised and kind of an alien it really takes away from the hotness that was going on with the suit but you know neck down it's it's totally fine all right vintage suit this one's kind of a weird one to put on the list because it's kind of like oh you want to like you know you're attractive to this drawing but i mean it's it's classic, it looks really good. Um, there's like a lot of nice muscular detailing here. And, you know, I don't know, sometimes the classic things work. And and for this one, you know, it's to me better looking than the other ones, even though it's kind of a weird comparison because this is really like literally just a drawing. So I didn't really know what to place this one. Maybe you guys can help me out with that, but it was, it was kind of confusing <laughs> in a lot of ways. Next up, of course, the classic repaired suit. It's a good looking suit it's form-fitting the colors are good it's you know it's spider-man with the webbing but it's not like in your face like neon like you know remind you that i am spider-man you know so that one you know it looks good iron spider it's very like cl it's classic yet modern all at once like i love that it's you know a technological enhancement it's shiny shiny things are nice shine is attractive um, and there's like, you know, it's not the most humanity in the eyes, but it's decent, it's solid. So overall, yeah, it's a very strong look for Spider-Man. The 2099 white suit. Um, this one, it's just like got a lot of like interesting things going on, though at the same time, I feel like this is some straight up destiny shit and I don't know how I feel about that. But I love like the, maybe it's just the angle of this photograph, but I just love the, 
the lines that you kind of have, like the mask has like this really fierce, sharp angle. There's like a really strong jawline with this. Like, I just feel like this is a celebration of like the beauty of the lines that are Spider-Man's body, which sounds kind of weird, but like, it's just a very like good looking suit. And it seems, you know, it comes off as being like a little bit higher on the technological end, but at the same time, it feels very like, you know, form fitting yet kind of like a, a, a natural extension of, you know, his regular body. And I feel like that looks really good on a lot of levels. The damage suit is basically the same as like the other suits, some of the other suits we saw, but um, it does have kind of like this, like somewhat splotchy like denim color going on with it. It's not like a straight up blue. It's kind of has like different coloring in it. And I think that's really like visually appealing. It, it's kind of made of like jeggings material, which is sort of weird, but that's kind of what it looks like. But I always feel like that's a very strong look. So that works. And then of course you have like the strategic cuts, you know, just kind of across you know, just two on his chest and then one on his upper thigh. And it's like, okay, like, you know, it's, it's a, it's a damn suit, but it's very like, like, oops, this one like subtle tear, kind of like distressed clothing or distressed jeans. Like it's a strategically damaged suit, even though, you know, narratively speaking, it's not the case, but we, we all know that you bought that shit that way, Peter Parker, and you just want the look that that's what happened. That's my version of the story. And it looks good. The velocity suit. This is just, you know, once again, very sleek, um, a really good use of lines, like I mentioned. So, like, with the main, I guess, Spider-Man logo, if you want to call it that, I feel like that's not the right word for it, but I love how, like, the bottom legs of that just come out and go down, like, through the rest of the outfit. Um, and I feel like, you know, it draws the eye in and then kind of all over, which, you know, is just generally attractive because Peter Parker is generally a fit person. Um, so yeah, that's kind of it for, for the Velocity suit, I guess. It, it, it looks good. But also, one thing I want to mention is that there is no humanity in the eyes, which is kind of off-putting, but at the same time, I feel like they're still somewhat expressive because they're very like straight and narrow. So I feel like I get a sense of personality through that, even though it's not very inviting, which is kind of my main criticism of the suit. It's, you know, it, it just feel a little bit more like, like, oh, this is something I made and put on rather than an extension of myself, just in the material that's being used. So like, those are kind of the, the quick drawbacks on that suit, but otherwise, it's a, it's a very strong look. Secret War, this is pretty basic. Like, it's honestly just kind of like regular suit, but it's black and has some different coloring. But honestly, like, that sometimes makes a difference. Um, I generally did find like the darker suits to look better, like who doesn't look good in black? And Peter Parker is no exception. It's it's a nice looking suit. The MK4 suit, uh, I really like this one because it is so shiny. <laughs> like I just like the shine of it. Uh, and once again, it's that nice blend of like, oh, it's a little bit fancier, but still feels like very wearable. It doesn't feel like overdone, even though like clearly when you look at the arms and stuff, it's kind of like it's probably like you know more of a metallic and like a metal type material, but it's it feels very like flexible and natural. And once again, that sheen is just very attractive and, and draws the eye in. The advanced suit, I love this suit. It looks so good. It's like, oh, you know how you like the classic suit? What if we like souped it up? It's kind of, it looks like, the advanced suit looks like you edited the photo of the regular suit to like kind of spruce up the lighting and the coloring and the detailing. So just generally like this one's ranked so much higher because it takes all the good stuff of, you know, the classic suit, but just soups it up. Once again, this is like the Instagram filter of suits. Like there's some Photoshop magic here, but it is actually how it naturally looks. So I, I think it, you know, it was a very like appealing aesthetic. The anti-ox suit. Now this one, when I first wore it and you actually do kind of have to wear it in the game. When I first wore it, I was like, I mean, I don't really want to be wearing this, to be honest, but um, it's part of the narrative, so whatever. But it has grown on me, and after, you know, actually playing as Spider-Man and watching him wear it and things, I don't know, it's very powerful looking, um, and black and yellow, classic color combination. There is, like, a, like, ferociousness in the eye mask, which I think does work for this look. And yeah, it just feels very, like, powerful and aggressive. And it just like, you know, I, I think it, it does work. And it's grown on me over time, 
even though it's very like minimalistic compared to some of the other like looks that we've seen i feel like it it just you know it gets the job done in terms of aesthetics and hotness this is an appealing suit it looks good he looks good in it not much else to say the noir suit i feel like this says more about me than it does about the suit i don't know why i find this so attractive i just do it's so different too than all the other suits because all the other suits are like some form of like you know it's it's a spider-man suit with like either different modifications or different material or different like whatever infusions or whatever the hell they weave into the fabric but this one's like it's not even a spider-man suit like it's just like it's just like a whole another outfit and i think that's one thing that's super appealing it also just feels like very extreme and like espionage-esque and there's something like that's attractive about that i'm i'm not really sure what that is or what that says about me or if i'm alone in that but let me know guys i, I think this is, i just think it looks really good maybe just because it's so different the all black the like I don't know. I don't know why I like this, to be honest, <laughs> but I do. It's like one of my favorite looks. It's very strong. This is like top tier suits. Speaking of things that I feel like reflect maybe poorly on myself, the punk suit. This is like stupid. I don't know why I, I like this suit, why I think it's so attractive. It's actually not really even that attractive. It's very cheesy. It's very like cheesy high school punk. Like, like I hate myself, but it is ranked so highly for me. I wore it for pretty much the whole game. Um, once again, this is, and all of Spider-Man suits are form-fitting. I feel like I've said that a million times already, so it's kind of like, well, all of them are tight, like whatever. But I feel like this one specifically, like the suit is painted on, like it's just literally, cause it's like, and it, it's like that, It's that's why it's so classically like teen corny outfit because like, I mean, I used to wear clothes like that, where it's like literally like the pants are painted on, like the pants are straight up coming through your converse. Like it's very excessive. Um, I'm not a fan of the jean, the sleeveless jean vest thing, because I just think that's like super cheese or the specs in the head. I don't know. There's a lot of things I don't necessarily think look good about this, but I think it's a very playful look. It's fun. Maybe I'm a 17 year old girl at heart forever. I don't know, but... I like this look a lot. This is the, I bought this suit. This is the only thing I wore for like the whole game. Yeah, I don't know. I got some issues. I can't justify this, but it is listed highly for myself. It is what it is. The MK2 suit. Once again, we're seeing like that all black. I feel like with this one though, the material, once again, it's very, it's a lot more natural looking. And it has like these kind of pockets of fabric in between what seems a little bit more metal in like, you know, made in a lab type thing that give it a little bit more personality, make it feel a little bit more natural. So like when they really, like to me, some of the best suits are when they blend higher level technology and aesthetic with something that feels casual, form-fitting, you know, easy to move in even I mean all of them are easy to move in because like whatever but it just seems a little bit chiller and and more inviting for that reason so I like this one a lot uh once again drawback is like the helmet slash like the eyes it just doesn't neck up some of these suits do not work <laughs> neck up but neck down like okay let's go the black cat suit this is actually another suit that I wore for the majority of the game well, I wore it once I once I unlocked it because it was kind of annoying to unlock, but I was like, I, I kind of want to have this suit because it just looks so good. Like, I'm not sure what the name for this material is, but it's kind of like this sort of like rubbery material. I'm not really sure what material that is underneath the like, you know, main Spider-Man icon, but it's like stealth militant-esque I don't know. There's something about it that I really like, um, and it's very muscular. Like, some of these suits, like, I mean, obviously, like, he's a muscular person, but they're, like, literally, like, they kind of add on the muscles in there, and that's what the suit does. A few other suits do it, too, where they very much, like, oh, he has abs, and it's, like, in your face. So this one does that, but also does that a little bit more subtly than some of the earlier suits did, where it's, like, okay, we, like, drew on your abs to remind people that you have abs. So I like that, and I like the layering of materials here. Tight one-piece suit but then there's like extra added materials that kind of make it a little bit more dynamic more interesting so it's not like oh this is just straight up painted on it's like it's painted on but then we threw in a couple extra layers and stuff so that looks good 
the all black is always a powerful look black and red once again classic color combo so even though these are kind of like less interesting looks i find them to be more attractive than some of the previous suits and then of course the number one suit <laughs> that is the most attractive spider-man suit is the underwear suit obviously um what is there to say about this suit um once again another classic like neck down suit this is because like it's like why do you have just the mask on i feel like that's a little weird so i i don't know how i feel about just having the mask on it's a little bit strange but yeah i mean what can you say peter parker is a very well-built muscular cut man so call me old-fashioned but i feel like fit attractive people look best with just pretty much nothing on at all so there you go that's the suit what else do you want I'm pretty much satisfied with this. I this is my the one suit that I'm like I just really want to unlock this, but I didn't have a chance before I had to return the game to Redbox. But for a while there, I was like I will do anything to be able to play the rest of the game just wearing this. It's just good content. But one thing I do want to point out about the suit, the big drawback is you can't see from this photo, but I swear Spider-Man has like the flattest ass I've ever seen in my life in in fiction in reality like straight up loose leaf paper pancake booty it's not good but you know from the front this is a very good suit from the back it's it loses a little something and that about wraps it up for uh my spider-man suits ranked in order of hotness um i hope i did a good job somewhat explaining my rationale behind those please let me know in the comments below what you think some of the hottest and least hot suits are. Let me know which ones you were like, oh my god, I can't believe you think this one's better than that one, etc. Um, please explain, tell, let me know if you think the noir suit is attractive and why, because I don't know what's wrong with me. Also, let me know if you think the punk look is attractive. I thought it was. I feel like that's, you know, my own set of problems that I have to deal with, but, you know, we're it's it's okay it's gonna be okay um but thank you guys so much for checking this video out be sure to give us a thumbs up be sure to subscribe tap the bell follow me across social media platforms and i will see you guys here next time bye